President Biden is touting the nation's latest jobs report. The Labor Department reported on Friday that the economy added 390,000 jobs in May. That keeps the unemployment rate at a near 50-year low of 3.6 percent. But while the labor market remains robust, Americans find themselves paying more. Consumer prices were up more than 8 percent in April. And gasoline prices? They're going higher as well a year ago by as much as 57 percent to four dollars 76 cents a gallon here to make sense of all this economic data is cbs news business analyst jill schlesinger jill good morning good morning well, what are the big takeaways from this well i think this was a pretty strong report 390,000 jobs a little bit more than expected 3.6 percent is just a tick above where we were before covid started even the labor force started to get a tiny bit bigger but over Overall, what we are going to be seeing is, I think, over the course of this year, is job creation is going to start tapering off. Last year, we had more than a half a million jobs a month. This year, it's starting to slow down. In the last three months, 408,000 a month on average. That's consistent with what we would call a more normal labor market. So I think we'll get down to 200,000 or so. That would be OK. We've still been adding like 400,000 a month for it seems like a long time. Even if that, if that market does tail off a little bit, the bigger question is when does inflation start to tail off? Well, I mean, that's a big question because we don't know. We've never been in a situation where the Federal Reserve is chasing inflation that has already appeared. And this has been 40 years in the making, right? So we know that the Fed has kept interest rates really low for a long time. We know that demand has actually been pretty low. But here we are, post-COVID. Incredibly low yeah. for Incredibly a long time. Incredibly low. It's crazy. And so when you think about where we are right now, demand was soaring and supply was constrained amid COVID. That's a recipe for disaster. A lot of economists believe the Fed started too late in their rate hiking campaign. We are where we are. The Fed says they're going to be attacking inflation. We hope that that 8.3 percent rate drops down to maybe 4 percent by the end of the year. Then by next year, it's 2 to 3. But guys, we are in uncharted territory. We don't know. One of the things Michelle mentioned, gas prices. I know my husband texted me from California, over six dollars mm -hmm. a gallon there. Who sets that price and do we expect to see it go down anytime soon? Well, you know, it's supply and demand and it's a global market. And so while we were seeing gas prices start to come down, the war in Ukraine really changed the situation. Russia supplies so much energy to Europe and that has actually conspired to have a spike in energy prices across the board. Gang, there is not a lot anyone in the United States can do to change this scenario. So what we are hopeful for is obviously an end to the war in Ukraine. But I think we are going to be contending with higher inflation and higher gas prices for quite some time. The I word, the the G word, so many so many concerns uh, about what could possibly lay in wait in terms of a recession. What are, what are your feelings? On uh, I think that we are very close to being at a place where we'll know whether or not the Fed's policies are going to work or not. But remember, what is the Fed trying to do? They're tapping on the brake to slow down the economy. It is possible that they tap too hard. They kind of push too hard. It screeches and we end up in a recession ditch. I don't want anyone to think this is the worst thing in the world. We've had 13 recessions since World War II. They're a normal part of the economic cycle. We don't like human suffering. But I think that most economists think it's 50-50 will go into a recession sometime next year. It would likely be a shallow one. Hopefully not a lot of human suffering. And I think it's the longest we've ever had in between recessions. Well, it would be, like, but for the... Which is consecutive quarters of negative growth. Well, but for the COVID recession, which actually did happen. Correct, yes. So, which All was right. a weird one. Okay, thank you. For, <laughs> That's for, a recession. for so many just, reasons. Just a little bit. Yeah. Uh, thank you for springing into the studio with us. Here thank today, you. It's lovely Jill. to be back. All right.